If you've ever filmed outside or recorded audio outside, you'll almost inevitably have used one of these at some point. It's a fluffy wind jammer. They're completely ubiquitous. They've been around for decades. And this one's made by Rycote, who at least here in the UK are the sort of the de facto standard in wind jammers. As you can see, it's covered with fluffy fur and the idea is to block all the extraneous wind noise when it is a windy day from getting to the microphone which sits in the hole up the end here while still allowing the sound you want to record to get to the microphone. Now recently Rycote introduced a brand new product as something of a departure. This is it and it's called the Super Softy and it is not at all as you can see covered in fur. It is still soft, you can squish it but instead of the fur, it's got this new covering which they call 3D Tex, but which to me looks a bit like a string vest or some net curtains or something. And then underneath it, well, you can't really see what it is, but it sort of feels like some sort of plasticky, um, meshy type material. You get a slight glimpse of it from looking down the hole, but the camera probably won't pick that up. Uh, but the claims for this new Super Softy are that it will cut out the wind noise better than the old one. It also has a little trick up its sleeve, which we'll come to in a moment. Uh, but of course, the one other thing you want from a wind jammer is not only that it should jam the wind, but also that it shouldn't affect the sound you are recording. So I've been out and about putting some tests together on how this stacks up against this. Well, the first thing to quickly demonstrate is how a microphone sounds when it's in a breeze and doesn't have any form of windshield on it. Now compare that with what happens when you put the traditional wind jammer on. And now let's try with the new Super Softy. And now both together with the new Softy in your left loudspeaker, the old one in the right. And finally, just a silly experiment to show there really is some science behind wind noise reduction. You can't just stick anything over the microphone and expect it to block out the wind noise. So that's wind noise reduction, but does the new softy affect the recorded sound in any way? This is a reference microphone test to see how the microphone sounds when there is no windshield on it. This is a test of how the microphone sounds when the original Rycote Softy wind jammer is put on it. This is a test of how the microphone sounds when the new Rycote Super Softy is put on it. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vale and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vale and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vale and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vale and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vale and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vale and hills, when all at once I saw a crowd, a host of golden daffodils. Well, I must be honest, those results surprised me. The theory was that this new one was definitely going to be better at cutting out the wind noise, but to my ears, certainly, I could hear the wind being picked up by the microphone with this, and the old original one seemed to do a better job. There is another test to do, however. As Rycote say, this one, if it gets wet, so you're out filming and there's a rain shower or something, this one is better able to be wrung out, squeezed of all the dampness, and then carried on being used than this one. So I decided to put that to the test as well.
Now, what with it being absolutely lovely weather at the moment, I had to improvise rain with my semi-automatic rain generator, but I gave both the wind chills a super soaking. And then I gave them both a super squeezing. But what will they sound like damp? I tried both without and with the fan. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? This is a test of the rain-drenched Rycoat Super Softy after it was wrung out. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? This is a test of the Rycoat Old Softy after it's been wrung out. This is a test of the Rycoat Super Softy while it is damp and while the wind is blowing. This is a test of the old Rycote softy while it is damp and while the wind is blowing. This is a test of the Rycote super softy while it is damp and while the wind is blowing extremely strongly. This is a test of the old Rycote softy while it is damp and while the wind is blowing extremely hard. This is a test of the Rycote Super Softy while it is damp and while the wind is blowing very strongly. This is a test of the original Rycote Softy while it is damp and while the wind is blowing very strongly. Well now I must stress that the audio recording levels and so on were set identically for both the microphones in both tests. The only processing I did was to raise the levels equally on both channels where the recording was otherwise so quiet that you might not have been able to hear it. And after those tests, again, a slightly surprised result. The new one didn't do as well as I expected it to. Uh, when it was damp, although I wrung them both out equally, the same amount of twist, the same amount of shaking, the audio on the old one still came through loud and clear. The sound on the new one, it was much, much quieter and this seemed to be retaining the water somehow and it made the sound lose all the top end and sound like it was underwater, sound quite muffled and garbled. So quite a puzzling result um, and I've done the tests more than once. I was up on Bluebell Hill in Kent a few weeks ago when I first got this product and I'll play you a little clip of that test uh, in a couple of seconds time and I got the same results there. This one uh, didn't block the wind as effectively and I tried the water test as well uh, to the same effect. So for the moment the conclusion has to be that though the Rycote Super Softy looks good um, it's simply not as good as the tried and tested Rycote Original Softy. So for the moment if I were you I'd stick with this one. Thanks very much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a quick like on the like button and maybe subscribe to the channel for more testing of more audio and video bits and pieces. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. I've plugged two identical microphones into the camcorder, put one wind jammer on one, one on the other. And so now let us see whether one works better than the other. Uh, what I'll do first of all is just see how well they reject the wind without me speaking. So let's listen to that.